What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Humble Warrior, back with another video. I thought I wasn't gonna do one at all. Like, I did one this morning, but I, I didn't think I was gonna do one another one today. Um, but, going through my Twitter feed, um, of course, I finally Dougie. Dougie is wrong on our Twitter, and he put out a statement saying that people don't give Tua enough credit for his play this season. It's always the asterisk. Yeah, but it's a receiver. Yeah, but it's a scheme, the coach. Or they'll hit you with that. Well, we'll see how the season goes. We'll see how the playoffs go. We'll see how the AFC Championship game, Super Bowl, etc. It's always a asterisk besides this kid's name. So this one um, content creator, it's me, Miami Ambassador, decided to go on his you know post and say that it's a biased take by Doug. He said that um, it's not this. The success of the team is not about Tua. It's a scheme, it's coaching, it's the, the weapons they, they gave him to throw to. No other team does this. No other team does this. He said that, you know, you're blind, you're blind, you're blinded by um, the bias take on Tua in terms of what he can do. And it's not, it's not really about him or on him, or he's not the reason why the offense took successful. Like, what to me is like where are you getting this dumb from because at the end of the day um you can see his maturation growing and growing and growing throughout the years his rookie year he had brian flores who gave no about him went on to the second year they gave him Jaden waddle his numbers doubled from what it was the year before he went from 18 to 2600 Correct. Go look it up yourself. 18 to 20 hundred, 2600. Jalen Water had over a thousand yards. Then they gave him Tyreek Hill year three, where he went to 3,500 yards and 25 touchdowns with Reek and Waddle. Then they went and got Moster and uh, Wilson, who's right now currently he's not playing, but they gave him Jeff Wilson, Raheem Moster, and this previous draft is drafted Devon A. Chain. Tua right now is over 1,024 yards, eight touchdowns, two picks, and just three games. Just three games. So is it not about Tua? Is it not? We can go on and on about the coaching schemes, about Tyreek Hill, about the other players out there, but is he not the trigger man in this offense? Is he not the one making the correct calls and audibles, getting certain protection set up, running the pay to play to perfection and getting the damn ball out where it's supposed to be at to let his playmakers make plays to help the offense score. Is he not doing all of that? So if it's not about him, then who the hell is doing all this behind the line of scrimmage? I don't get it. Then he said, oh, well, it wasn't, no other team did this. No other team did this. Now back in 2020, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe Burrow was the number one pick. Joe Burrow came into a situation where they got T. Higgins, Boyd, they drafted him, Jamar Chase, the very next year. Jamar Chase, Higgins, and Boyd. A three-headed monster receiver. He already had Joe Mixon when he got there. He had Joe Mixon as well. So he had four, he had four reliable playmakers on one side of the ball that he could depend on. The only problem that he had was his offensive line wasn't that great. Because he's had the most sacks since he's been in the league. But his playmakers, the ones out on the outside of the numbers, he had them. And he had a running back. Justin Herbert went to, went to the Chargers. That man got Austin Eckler. He got uh, Keenan Allen. He got Mike Williams. He had Henry Hunter to their treasure to the Patriots. Reliable playmakers, correct? Reliable playmakers. But that that that's not that's not Justin Herbert. He he's immaculate. So is Joe Burrow. They're both immaculate compared to two of them. The narrative. Josh Allen. He came into the, he came to Buffalo Bills. They went and got that dude Stephon Diggs, who's a pure certified number one receiver. And they had him um, Davis, and um, he has a committee running back between Singletary, Mix, I mean, not Mixon. Singletary, I forgot the other guy's name, but he has a committee, and he has Dawson Knox, who's a, who's a bona fide tight end. 
So he he got his playmakers. But it's not a knock on him for, for having that. Nobody cares, right? Because hey, the narrative is hey, Tua is is Tua's not the answer. He's not the one that's gonna make the team better. Oh man, that was water. She following me. But yeah, Tua's not gonna he doesn't make the team better. He does not he's not the answer to the team. Stupid. So you don't want to give him his credit for what he's done in three games, what he did last year, his progression from year one to year two, even though his numbers were not that great. Granted, yes. But if you look at the way he plays and the way he operates in offense, he went he went through three different offensive coordinators in the three years that he's been in Miami, or four years, basically. All of that is not on him. At first, he had Chan Gailey. Then he, he had two offensive coordinators at the same time. One calling runs, one calling pass. Then he went from that to having Mike McDaniel and I forgot OC now. But they began to call the plays for him. From last year to this year, you can see the comfort level. You can see the swagger. You can see it. And he gets no credit for that. Oh, by the way, let's not even mention Lamar Jackson, who's who was a MVP. Who they gave they actually had gave him a bunch of playmakers. They just drafted Zay Flowers and you know OBJ and stuff in the field yet because he got injured. But you gave him a solid running game. You gave Mark Andrews, you gave him uh Bateman, Zay Flowers. Um that's all I can think of right now for his receivers. But every NFL organization purpose is to put playmakers around your quarterback there's nothing wrong with that i don't get how that's a knock on him for that i don't understand that so he gets he gets a, a deduction because they got tyreek hill they only traded for tyreek hill and raheem moster they signed braxton burials they signed robbie chosen they went out and they they basically yeah they signed Jeff Wilson, they drafted Jalen Waddle, they drafted Devon A Chain, Tyreek he was the only slam dunk, basically trade that they got. He he's the slam dunk, and Raheem Moss has, has meant more to that running back room than anything else. But now he gets knocked because of that. It, the the stupidity of some people I tell you it, it's on full display. So he doesn't get credit for what he's done, but he gets all the blame or he gets so many yeah buts behind his name because people aren't wild by the way he plays or whatever. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yesterday, he wilded the hell out of me with a no look. Never seen him do that in my life, ever. He just, boop, looking at Tyree through it that way. And it was so smooth and fluent. Then he ran it back again for you. But... He doesn't get credit for that because it doesn't feel right or it doesn't sound right to give him credit. So you have to tear him down. I'm going to go and say this right now because it has to be said. I hope Tua wins the MVP. I hope Tua wins the Super Bowl this year. If that kid can win the Super Bowl this year, a lot of people, a lot of people got to line up and go and get, go and get a eulogy. Gonna give it up to him. Guess what? He'll be a Super Bowl champion. More than likely, he'll be the MVP of the Super Bowl. MVP of the league. What else can you say about him? It won't be no more yeah buts. Or because of this. Or because of that. Like Mike McDaniel said. All he does is call the plays. Somebody has to execute them. Somebody has to go out there and do their job. And you cannot put any quarterback in the system. Because not every quarterback can actually make the throws that he makes. As a matter of fact, the way his anticipatory skills are set up, there is no way half the fucking quarterbacks in the league can make the pass he makes. The only difference between him and Mahomes and Herbert and uh, Burrow is the arm stud that people talk about. But other than that, it's a joke. To be able to process defenses in under two seconds and make that kind of make those kind of passes, not hardly anyone in the league can do that. That's what separates him from every other damn quarterback in this league. In two and a half seconds, 
it that takes a lot to build a process of defense and see what coverage they're in from post snap to pre snap or pre snap to post snap and then get it off like that. But he don't get credit for that. He gets credit for the interceptions, for the fumbles, for the for the you know the base base of the blooper reel highlights that he rarely ever puts up. He don't get credit for the big numbers. Stop being stupid. All you trolls, stop being damn stupid and biased because you're starting to look ignorant. Because you're not making the same arguments with other people. Oh, I, I forgot. Hell, Cleveland went out and got them Deshaun Watson. And who does Cleveland have? Now, granted, yes, Nick Chubb is gone for the season. He's gone for the season. But Cleveland has a juggernaut as well on offense. Deshaun just got to figure out how to, how to mend himself in the offense. But Cleveland is no slouch either. And before Aaron Rodgers got hurt, New York just right there in that conversation. Unfortunately for him, four snaps in, his season's gone. But it'll be interesting to see because then Miami would have been going back and forth with each other. And Kansas City ain't nothing to sneeze at either. And oh yeah, by the way, that is another good point. Doesn't doesn't uh Mahomes have Kelsey? And uh I forgot the running back's name. And at one point he did have Reek. And um, what's that boy's name? That's from Georgia. Um, I forgot his name now. But number 17, the, uh, the receiver. Just can't think of his name right now. But anyway, almost every top-notch team you see, they, they get playmakers for the quarterback. And what you're supposed to do, make the quarterback life easier. But for some reason, let's, let's make two as hard as possible so we still have more criticism thrown on his back. Make it make sense. Knock it off. Anyway, guys, that's my time. I'm gonna eat my sandwich real quick. I gotta jump back on this job. Peace.